The Case of the Sensational Scent by Robert McCluskey About two miles outside of Centerburg, where Route 56 meets Route 56A, there lives a boy named Homer. Homer's father owns a tourist camp. Homer's mother cooks fried chicken and hamburgers in the lunchroom and takes care of the tourist cabins. Homer does odd jobs about the place. When Homer isn't going to school, or doing odd jobs, or playing with other boys, he works on his hobby, which is building radios. He has a space in one corner of his room where he works in the evenings. Before going to bed at night, he usually goes down to the kitchen to have a glass of milk and cookies, because working on radios makes him hungry. Tabby, the family cat, usually comes around for something to eat, too. Kitty, kitty. <gasps> A skunk! I wonder where it came from. I think I'll name him Aroma. Hmm. I wonder where he lives. Homer took his saucer of milk out to Aroma every evening when nobody was looking. And in a few weeks, Aroma was just as tame as a puppy. There. All fixed. Let's try it out. Mr. N. W. Blot of Centerburg. I know the grand him. Prize of He's from my town. The best slogan about dregs after shaving lotion. The dregs award program will be broadcast live from Centerburg next week, and Mr. Dregs Just think of Roman. A real radio broadcast from Centerburg. I'll have to see that. Slogan. And today we have a special guest with us, the president of Dregs Shaving Lotion. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Dregs. Thank you, everybody. I'm here to make a special presentation to Mr. N. W. Blot the winner of the Drake Slogan Competition. Mr. Blot has made a wonderful contribution to the future of American shaving with his slogan, the aftershave with the distinctive invigorating smell that keeps you on your toes. Mr. Blot, I'd like to present to you this suitcase containing $2,000 in cash and one dozen bottles of Drake's aftershave lotion. Thank you very much. I'm proud to have been the winner of the contest and I'd like to- I don't know. <gasps> if you please. Wait till I send out the alarm, man. Then we'll chase him. No, Robio Raider, I mean, Radio Robert can do this to our town and get away again. And when the sheriff came back, he told us they got clean away, and there wasn't a hair of them in the whole length of Route 56 or 56A. <gasps> oh no! It could have been our tourist cabin they robbed. I hope the police catch them soon. Is offering half of the prize money and six Aroma, bottles of lotion Aroma, if to we could just catch those robbers, back. we could have enough money to build lots of radios and even a television receiver. The next morning, Homer woke up before daylight, whistled for Aroma, and rode off down Route 56A to go fishing in a nearby brook. On his way home, he decided to take a shortcut through the woods. The robbers! I can hardly wait to drink some of that fragrant aftershave and lotion. Look at that thing in our money. That, my dear friend, is not a thing. It's a mustelide mammal, commonly known as a skunk. Well, I don't care if it's a thing, a mammal, or a skunk. He can't sleep in our money. I'll cook that mammal. I case. wouldn't do that if I were you. It might attract the sheriff. And besides, it isn't an acceptable thing to do to a mustelide mammal. This will scare it away. I think I smell a skunk around here. We will have to get rid of that animal right away because people will not want to spend the night at our tourist camp if we have that smell around. I'm going out now, Homer. You'll have to watch the tourist camp while I'm gone. Okay, Mom. Hello? Hello. We'd like to rent a tourist cabin for the night. All right, follow me. I think you'll be comfortable here. And that will be $40 in advance, please. Here's a 50, buddy. You can get the change. Thanks. Hmm. The 
the distinctive invigorating smell that keeps you on your toes. I better call the sheriff. Hello? Hello, sheriff? This is Homer. Those four robbers are spending the night out here at our tourist camp. Why don't you come and arrest them? Well, I'll be switched. Have they got the money and the lotion with them? Yes, they brought it. Have they brought their guns along too? I don't know, but if you hold the line a minute, I'll slip out and look. Okay. Drive world the curb to rest. Determined here and there. We're safe here. Yep, they got quite a few. They have, huh? Well, I'll tell you, Sonny. I'm gonna get my hair cut, so you just sort of keep your eye on them, and I'll be out there in an hour or so. That'll give them time to get to sleep, and some of the boys and me can walk right and snap the bracelets on them. Okay, see you later, Sheriff. Bye. Mother, I have some very important business. Do you think that you could take care of things for a while? Well, I think so, Homer, but don't stay away too long. Homer kept an eye on the robbers till the sun went down. You know, this ain't so comfortable for us and only one bird. I know, but it's better than sleep in the woods where there are mosquitoes. And funny little animals that don't smell so nice. You must admit, though, our present condition could be described as being a trifle overcrowded. Them's my feelings exactly. Might as well start driving to Mexico because we can't sleep like this. I might better do something pretty quick or the robbers might leave before the sheriff gets here. <laughs> Driving at night makes me nervous. Me too. Stop tickling! Not tickling you, but say, I think I still smell that animal. Now that you mention it, I seem to smell it too. That sells it. Let's get in the car and go to Mexico because I think I smell that animal too. You do smell that animal. And please don't make any sudden movements because he excites easily. Now hold up your hands and take that suitcase and march. Do we have to walk? Aroma is getting excited. We didn't mean to do it. We'll give the money back. Our early environment is responsible for our actions. I'm sorry, but I'm taking you to the sheriff. Rob the switch. If I ain't the Robio Raiders, I mean the radio robbers. I grabbed the baskets with their guns and marched them off to the sheriff. Well, Homer, you can keep Aroma. Well, there isn't much more to tell. The newspapers told the story and had headlines saying, Boy and Pet Skunk Trapped Shaving Lotion Robbers by Smell. And the news commentators on the radio told about it too. Instead of hurting business, Aroma has doubled it. People from miles around are coming to the crossroads where 56 meets 56A just to eat a hamburger or a home-cooked dinner and to see Aroma. And then we marched up to the barbershop. Yep, that sure was one smell of a job of swelling. I mean, that was one swell job of a smelling. The end.